All right, y'all. Uh, I guess they made the big announcement. AJ accepted the terms, you know, for the Tyson Fury fight. Uh, that's good. That's 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 real good. Good for boxing. Uh, good for everything. Good for the division. You know, good for UK. This is an absolute mega fight. You know how they say it over in the UK. I mean, this is brilliant right here. Um, one thing I gotta say though, I kind of gotta put a knock on the the WBC man uh, for doing this. I mean, they they, they kind of like leaked it, you know, by ranking AJ, you know, yesterday right before this announcement came. Well, it's kind of like WBC, like, why does AJ have to accept the fight to be fighting for a WBC belt for you guys to rank him? I mean, you didn't think he should be ranked before that? Like, these sanctioning bodies is just all weird, man. Like, I mean, like, and I always tell y'all, I'm going to call a spade a spade. I'm going to start with WBA. I mean, that's, 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 that's family, you know, that's home right there. But, they got to get this together, man. Like, the rankings be all over the place. You know, it be out of nowhere. I mean, but I understand, though, man. It's it's a business, and everybody got to make their money. You know, we got to get their sanction fees and, you know, for the belts and all that stuff. But you got to be more a little more realistic, man. It's like, no way AJ shouldn't be ranked. You know what I'm saying? He has to be ranked. You know what I mean? Like, you got top five people who should be ranked in the hall all three or four, you know, sanctioning bodies, and it just don't happen like that. It's like, why he got to accept this fight to be ranked? You know, y'all don't think he should be top 10, top 15 in the world? You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy, man. But I don't know. Uh, back to about the fight. That's a mega fight, man. Uh, I mean, it's so much of a mega fight that I won't even be there. It's not by not by choice, but um, I won't be there because tickets are probably going to sell out before they go on sale, you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. So, um it might be a good atmosphere to go out there for the fight. But uh, if I can't go to the fight, it might be no sense of me going out there. Uh, yeah, I wonder why it's so dark here. <laughs> why I got on this black hoodie. Uh, I'm on my detail, man. You know, I'm a high-end bodyguard, man. You know, uh, I got a real good gig, man. <laughs> This is actually, you know, probably the best job I ever had in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm putting everything on hold and sacrificing, you know, everything. But getting off the, the subject, man. Hey, hell of a fight, man. Uh, predictions, man. By AJ stepping that fight and not taking tune up, and by seeing Tyson Fury get dropped by that bum Wilder, man, I'm going with AJ, man. You know what I'm saying? I think AJ just ain't really got nothing to lose. You know, I think he can, you know, Fury's an excellent fighter. Fury's a super slick fighter, highly skilled fighter. You know, he's a giant, he's an animal. But uh, he don't move like Yusuk, you know. Yusuk, you know, and me personally, when I fight, when I spar, the only struggles I've had in any type of fight has been against smaller guys. So I understand why AJ couldn't really just like zero in on Yusuk. Um, and Fury not going to be moving like that. Fury is going to be a little more stationary. And uh, I think that uh, AJ will stop. I think he'll stop him. You know, I think he's going to knock out Fury, man. I think he'll gain the, the crown of boxing. He might not have the belts, but he had a lineal. He had a WBC. And whoever used to fight again, he coming to get him. But that's a whole other topic, you know. I got AJ. The underdog. He's going to be the underdog. Let's get it.